Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. Was it subscribe, like, or like and subscribe? My oh no, she's not here. My marketing marketing director. Mm -hmm. My marketing yeah. Our mark my oof, she's not here to tell me which way's up and down. So subscribe, like. Believe it or not, he has not had this full beer. No, and this may shock everybody. I don't plan this, rehearse this, or really do any type of planning for this at all. So, we're going to start with today's beer. Now, this brewery, America's oldest, has actually a uniqueness in my life. This is Yingling. Yingling has been a local beer both places I've lived, in Pennsylvania and Florida. Pennsylvania, they have their Pottsville, which is the oldest brewery, America's oldest brewery. And in Tampa, it used to brew... Stroh's and Schlitz and Paps and other various forms of fermented mm -hmm. moose piss. Now, hey, 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 now, you drink some of that stuff. That's true. Anyhow, and unlike most of these fancy schmancy beers, you don't need a bottle opener. Okay, now this is Yingling Black and Tan. What that means is they took Yingling Porter which I've tried in the past on my Facebook page, Mike's beer page on Facebook, if you want to look that up, because I've done a lot of beer reviews there, but we're going to start. But it's basically a porter mixed with their regular lager. So it, it gives you some of the, some other black and tans I've tried, uh, Mississippi Mud from, that's from Genesee in New York. And I think there's been a couple others, some bars will do, make a black and tan for you using Guinness. First time I tried black and tan was at the brewery tour in Tampa. Wow. Which is weird, because I actually think the only thing they make in Tampa is the lager. Well, that doesn't mean that they don't have different kinds of yingling there for you to taste. I want you to. They do, and I do recommend the yingling tour. It was very, very <laughs> insightful and entertaining, and we'll have to do it again without so many people. <laughs> we had a whole group. Anyhow, I wonder if I should just... And that's going to mess up the focus. Yeah, we don't practice this. This is my cell phone. I'm not getting a camera. I can't smell beer, so I don't know why I even bother smelling it anymore. It's not a really powerful smell. But it is a pleasant aroma. Now you taste this. This is a lot smoother. Most porters give you that bitterness at the end. There's no bitterness here. You can taste um, some roasted malt. There's roasting that's going on probably in the porter. Um, not a lot of hops. It's not a real strong, overpowering flavor. It has a very roasted taste. And the aftertaste is more roasted than bitter like other porters. But, I mean, it tastes... I, I could drink a bunch of this, which I say a lot, but this is... It's not... If you want to try something a little different than your normal beer, I would say this because it it's got a lot of aspects and flavors of a like a porter or a stout even, but it's got the smoothness of a lager. So, if you just want to drink normal beer, this would probably be something you would enjoy. I agree. So, singly black and tan. Today. Um, it's available a lot of places. I. Got this because it was on sale at that big place that starts with a W. We'll see you next time. That means you bought more than one, right? Uh, yeah, it was on sale. It was 12-pack <laughs> for like nine eighty seven or something. That's less than I normally... That's almost what I pay for four reef donkeys, which we'll get into later. Okay.